Hi there guys, Gareth here and welcome to this video and prompt production and welcome to this vlog style laid back, I'm literally laid back kind of video. So long story short, I want to get your guys' feedback. As you probably tell, can tell, have told from this week, I've uploaded a video a day. Even yesterday, I skipped Tuesday or Wednesday I think it was, but yesterday I uploaded two videos um, in one day and I have enough videos to cover the rest of the week. This was kind of a special occasion to sort of prove to you and prove to myself, yes, I can. If I get my arse into gear, I can record five videos in one week. The problem with doing five videos a week and doing it the way I've done it this week, it's not going to be sustainable. I'm going to burn myself out. I know for a fact I'm going to burn myself out. One thing I know a quite well-known subscri subscriber, <laughs> a well-known YouTuber, Zan Isaac who I, as I've said on many occasions, I get a lot of inspiration from. What he would tend to do is set aside a specific day for recording, record a bunch of videos. He'll then use some time throughout the week when he's got some downtime to edit those videos and upload them and get them scheduled for later on. I do also know, especially for October, he tends to pre-record all of his Halloween or October based videos and will you know, sketch them for throughout October, and during October, October, he'll be recording his, like, December and January videos, stuff like that, I mean, recently, he did a DVD update or an unboxing of some description, and people moaned at him for some of the stuff he showed off, I don't understand those people, to be honest with you, and then he sort of revealed, you do know, guys, this was recorded way back in December, November last year, so, you know, that's, because basically what some more information about one of the sets had come out nowadays or so I don't really know to be honest. I don't keep up super update and all of that sort of stuff. But people were moaning at him for not knowing that piece of information, despite the fact that piece of information is relatively new. And he sort of said, Oh, by the way, guys, I recorded this video like ages and ages ago. And also he has revealed in some live streams that he does have some like backup videos. Some videos just sitting in the can, already uploaded, ready for him just to click, you know, click public and it'll go out and you know that if he if he's not in the mood to upload anything or can't upload anything, he's got things ready to go. But he's had a routine for quite some time and knows his routine. The way I did things this week was I binge watched you know, all the screen films, and then recorded those videos as I did them. And I noticed by the time I got to the Scream 4 review, it wasn't to the quality of the first one. And obviously, you know, I don't know if you guys have yet seen the Scream 4 review as of this video. I guess I've got to release those two videos and then release this video maybe afterwards. Although I want you guys to, uh, I want you guys' opinion on on this video a bit quicker than that anyway we'll see where things go so by the time i got to the screen four review i noticed that i was the quality had dipped quite a bit because of the way i was going at it i was binge watching screen although i thoroughly bloody enjoyed watching all four of those films i was a bit burned out by the end of that i was a bit screamed out you could say and I think that came across in my review of Scream 4. I will say at this point, I don't know if I've released the Scream 4 review, but it shows in the Scream 4 review. Having said that I don't think my Scream 4 review was at the standard of the previous three reviews, I didn't like Scream 4 as much as I did the first three. And that's a bit of a spoiler for the ending of, uh, the ending of my Scream 4 review. But... You'd have to wait for that video to know my more depth opinions on that film. But what I'm trying to say is there's a part of YouTube that, to be honest, I don't like. And it's that <sighs> even if something is even remotely considered negative or dissing something in any way shape or form somebody is going to get shitty about it somebody somewhere will get shitty about it and the fact i wasn't over enamored with 
scream, scream for and I'm now saying that maybe I was a bit screamed out there's going to be a ton of people I, I don't get that many viewers but you know what I mean there may be a ton of people down the road who may then say who may say to me oh you need to watch it later on maybe watch it when you're a bit more in the mood to watch it I was in the mood to watch it when I watched it it's just that let's be honest and everybody's the same way how you watch things what you've watched previously all has an influence on how you perceive things it's just the way things are humans are like that so the fact i'd watched the first three screen films directly before watching screen four influenced my opinion of screen four i'm sorry it's the way things go even if i'd waited a week before watching Scream 4, I still would have had the same opinion. i have maybe been a bit more upbeat about it, unless maybe a bit, oh god, that was so much Scream to watch in a very short amount of time. Maybe, but my overall opinions, you know, <laughs> um, don't dictate, or I would hope, would sorry, would change as a result of when I decided to watch and review Scream 4. The other thing I want to maybe consider doing at some point is giving a bit of time between watching a film and doing a review. I kind of need to do the whole watch it and then do the review straight away, which is why I did it the style I did it. But there are times where maybe we'll script a review or take a bit of time to do the review. I know another YouTuber I watch quite a bit called Decker Shadow. He watches the movie once and then watches it again. And the second time, well, he takes notes the first time. And the second time, he's taking notes and writing his script. And then, of course, does his video, the, the camera sections. He also rips the DVD or Blu-ray. So he can intersperse scenes where they fit into his review. And then, of course, edit, edits them together and releases his review. I can't do that, to be honest. It's very, very rare that I want to sit through the same movie twice within quick succession. I said this... I've said this at the end of my Screen 3 review, which, again, this is a bit of a spoiler, but hey-ho. I said that Screen 1, the first Screen, is... So the Screen franchise is by far now my favourite horror franchise, hands down. Screen 1 is quite possibly... In my top, when it is in my top five, it's highly likely it's now my top favorite, top third favorite film. I say top third, I don't like giving numbers to things because what have you, but there are very few films that I can watch over and over and over again. They are, they go as follows Beetlejuice, the first Alien, Blade, the first Blade film, Blade 2 to some degree, and now Scream. I could happily watch Scream on a weekly basis i won't but i could quite happily watch it on a weekly basis it's a film i can see myself watching multiple times and both beauty juice and alien i've seen and blade for that matter i've seen well i've seen beauty juice and alien 20 30 times a piece each each film and i've seen blade maybe 10 you know 10 15 times easy throughout my life scream very much fit into that category and i've got a spare two hours at some point i may just stick on screen and give it another watch at some point it's a movie i can you know sit and watch and be very happy with but that's a rare occurrence with me these days it's a very rare occurrence for me to go yeah i could quite happily watch that film again and again and again the other thing was during the whole marathon style of things how can i put this i did the marathon style for scream because i enjoyed watching them so much it's going to be hard to do that with some other type of films i do have a plan at some point to start really delving into some of the box sets i've got I've got all of the Fast and Furious films, apart from the latest one, the eighth one. Yes, I know there's another one come to cinema soon, but I'm talking about the ones that have been released on Blu-ray or DVD. I've got all of the Bond films. I've got the Indiana Jones films. All of those, I've got all of those those films, and I intend doing a similar style thing that I've done with Scream. The problem with it is, 
is I don't think I'll have the enthusiasm and the motivation to do what I did with Scream and just, you know, churn them out like I did. We'll see where things go with that. What essentially I need from you guys is when should I release videos, as in what time and what days would be best for you. I'm going for a two to three video a week schedule. Maybe in dispersing videos like this in between those just to keep things fresh and interesting. And if something pops up in the post or something pops up along the way, I'll record that and release it at some point that week. So we'll go for a two to three video you know, scheduled a week with things sprinkled in between as and when they pop up or crop up. And I think that's a good way of doing things. Because doing five videos a week, I'm going to very quickly burn out. And I'll probably get through a lot of things and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't mean I won't be uploading a lot more often. Because one thing I'm going to try and do is get ahead of myself. So I can give myself more time to work on videos a bit longer. If you see where I'm going. At the moment, I release my videos at 7 a.m. in the morning. And then they're free for people to watch later in the day because I've gotten feedback before now that people like watching my videos in the morning. So that's why I release them at 7 in the morning. If, you, if you've got a more preferable time for me to release the videos, then please let me know and we'll see where we go from that. Anyway, guys, you know the spiel. I won't repeat it for this video. But as always, guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Ta-ra.